Hey guys, Thunder E here and welcome to my review of Bright. Bright is a brand new fantasy buddy cop movie starring Will Smith, Joel Edgerton, Naomi Reprace, and directed by David Ayers of Suicide Squad. And it's coming out on Netflix on December 22nd. So I got to see this a little early. And I have to say though, I really enjoy this movie. I had a good time watching this movie. And there are a lot of things that worked very, very well. This is David Ayers at his best in crafting that very gritty, uh, buddy cop movie and uh, something that also infused a lot of fantasy here and um, I think Max Landis also wrote the script for this so I was actually impressed with this because I'm not a big fan of a lot of his stuff but this worked out pretty well now um, the world of Bright is interesting because you have humans you have elves you have orcs and in this case in this movie you have uh, uh, a setting where you have two cops Will Smith and of course Joe Edgerton as his uh, orc partner and he's the first orc in the police force so there's a lot of tension there between that of them you know a lot of people don't like orcs because that's standard affair nobody likes orcs in fantasy uh, stories and it's the same here in this of course he's you know he's not liked by uh, the policemen he's not liked in the community he's not liked by orcs himself he's not liked by his partner and that tension shows with the chemistry we have between Joel Edgerton as the orc uh, called Jacoby and uh, Will Smith uh, I can't remember his character's name but but uh, it actually works out pretty well. The chemistry was really good. You could feel that they worked well with each other. There was a good back and forth. They didn't feel awkward or clumsy. And I like that in this movie. Will Smith also shows a lot of range in terms of how him being, you know, he's, he, was, he was a cop that has been in the force for a while and you sense his ambiguity in a little bit. There were some things that he did as a good cop, something he did that, that kind of like as a bad cop, something he did in between. And I like that he showed that kind of range here and it was just great to see. Now, one thing I did like was the orcs though. The, uh, the prosthetics for the orcs looked really good. Um, you, all the different, you know, just different sizes of orcs. You also saw uh, little things that, you know, just entail in fantasy. They were like minotaurs as policemen. Um, you had fairies. There was even a dragon at one point. So this is a very rich and different world. And I like the fact that in this movie, they didn't actually spend time telling you a long story about how this world came to be. You just enjoyed the, you got a, an idea of what the world is from the two characters, the two main characters, both Will Smith and Joel Edgerton, and how you know the relations between orcs, humans, and elves actually pan out. Now, um, in terms of the third main character, now we replace, she plays this evil elf, so to speak, who's hunting them down because the Will Smith's character and Joel Edgerton are cops who found another elf that has a magic wand. The magic wand is pretty much like a nuke, and literally that thing is powerful. Uh, not just the, what they said in the movie, they actually show you the power levels. Plus, they show you some power levels of the elves, and the elves are kick-ass. You don't want to mess with them at all. I mean, the orcs are brutes. And I love some of the little things they threw in there, like, you know, orcs, they say orcs are not smart. That's why they play in the NFL. The, the whole defensive line for most teams are orcs. You know, that kind of thing is just some nice little gem placements in there. I think the storyline worked. It went really smoothly. The action sequences were really good. They were fun. Um, I had a good time with this movie. The one thing I'll say that I didn't like were some of the supporting characters. They just didn't add enough weight for it for me. Uh, there were a couple of FBI agents included which uh, I thought they would have more use case, but they didn't. And I wish at least I just saw more from them just to get a better understanding. That might give me some more info on this world itself. Now, um, I will say though, at the very end of this movie, I was thoroughly entertained. I definitely enjoyed it. And I wanted to see another one. You know, it's Netflix, so I was expecting to see the very next episode, or at least the very next movie. But I hope this actually does well with viewers because I enjoyed it. And I can't wait to see a sequel in this world because this is a very weird world that works well. Uh, you have humans, you have elves, you can, you can get a hint that of course certain, certain people do certain things. They're talking about how you know, no orc has a six foot vertical, uh, which means orc do, orcs don't play basketball. They play football and maybe elves are the ones who play basketball, you know, that kind of thing. So it's, it's interesting to see how that will work out. Uh, just just in general how the bigger world looks, but I liked what I saw 
I thought it was a really solid movie. It's something to definitely watch this holiday season come December 22nd. It's a bit darker uh, because this world can feel a little grimy, but uh, I think you will have a good time watching uh, Bright. So for me, if I was to give you a uh, score rating, I'll give it four out of five. I w enjoyed it, I'll definitely watch it again when it comes out on the 22nd, and you guys should too. So if you have any questions, or any comments, let me know. Otherwise, don't forget to like and share this video. Favorite this video, subscribe to the channel, and always enjoy your entertainment.